Hello, my name is Hala. I am a belly dance teacher, performer, and also company owner. And we have a dance troupe and we perform nationally and internationally uh, Egyptian and Middle Eastern belly dance. Uh, it's also my honor and pleasure to be sharing uh, my, some of my knowledge about this dance with you because it's not only my profession and hobby and passion, it's also my cultural background. Uh, I grew up in Egypt where this dance is uh, primarily and, and foremost a uh, folk dance where everybody celebrates using this uh, dance. So when we have any um, wedding or celebration or birthday or just friends hanging out together, uh, we put some music on and everybody gets up and dances. So this dance is an expression of joy and happiness and it's used by everybody in the Middle East, men and women, adults, children, grandparents, grandkids. If you go to uh, any Arabic party um, and, uh, or, or Middle Eastern party, you'll find that people just um, celebrate any festive occasion with this style of dance. And this dance has evolved uh, and, and transformed as it um, spread all over the world and there are lots, lots of different styles and lots of different um, accents and dialects of this dance. Uh, today I'll be happy to share with you uh, some of the basic movements that we use in the Egyptian style, but it's also the foundation and the origin of all the um, belly dance styles that you will see uh, in the world. Uh, we do have, um, I, I offer classes and I, and I have a professional dance troupe and we offer uh, solo and uh, troupe performances, professional dance performances in Egyptian style. Uh, we also have a dance studio in San Jose and I also um, uh, conduct tours to Egypt to study dance, music and dance tours to study music and uh, Middle Eastern and Egyptian music, music and dance in Egypt. Uh, today I'll be going uh, over some of the basic foundations of the dance and show you some of the movements that we do in our warm-up. Because before you uh, start dancing, you always want to warm up your body from head to toe so that your body is ready to move and express itself using this dance vocabulary. Uh, as the dance vocabulary evolves, there's always different uh, ways of executing the same move, uh, but usually the, um, what I'm going to show you today is the basic, uh, the basic moves and the, um, the basic ways that to execute these moves. So I'm going to start by showing you some of the simple dance moves that we use in the warm-up routine to warm up our bodies from head to toe so that we're ready to dance. This dance is one of the earliest core fitness exercises because it has existed in Egypt ever since the Pharaonic times, so that's over 5,000 years ago. And it, has still, it still exists right now in the Middle East, people, where we use it, people use it for celebrations. When we dance, we wear anything we want, as long as you're willing to move in it freely. And the only thing we add is a hip scarf. So we usually wear something around our hips to highlight the hip bones, and it's not in the waist, it's usually down on the hip bones. And women wear something more decorative and, and as you can see, jingly and mixed um, sound. Men usually wear something uh, simpler and, uh, and solid colors. But it's always uh, uh, a tradition to highlight the hip bones. So it's very important before you start dancing that you keep in mind three foundations of your dance. One is posture, and posture just means straight spine from head to tailbone. Especially for this dance, it's extremely important to keep the sternum open and the tailbone tucked in so that your spine is straight from head to tailbone. The other thing that's very, very important, the other foundation, is attitude. And uh, by attitude, I just mean to smile, because this dance, as I mentioned, is only used to express joy and happiness. So it's always an expression uh, of, um, of happiness, so we always smile when we dance. We never dance with a serious face in this particular style. So we always dance with a smile on our face. Uh, and last but not least is rhythm. Uh, and we're going to start the music very shortly, but that's, that's basically the three foundations. Before you even start moving, you have to keep in mind these three foundations. Posture, attitude, and rhythm. Or par for short, or rap if you read it backwards. So uh, let's start the music, and I'll show you some of the dance moves. First, we're going to warm up our hip and belly area. So we're going to start moving from the hips by stretching the lower back. So I'm going to stretch the lower back by moving my pelvis front and back front and back, front and back, front and back. And the second move, we're going to do it side to side. So I'm going to use my knees, keep the heels on the floor. I'm going to use my knees to move my hips side to side. So this is how it looks from the side. This is how it looks from the front, side to side. And you can double the speed. One, two, one, two, one, two. 
and you can keep the arms out of the way, but keep the shoulders down. And double front, double back, double side, double side. Again, back, side, side. Front, back, side, side. Now we're going to put it all together and do a circle. Front, side, back, side. Front, side, back, side. And this way you're stretching the whole belly and lower back area. And reverse. And again, it's only in the hips. You're standing on both feet equally. And hip lifts. Circle. Hip lift, hip lift, circle. Again. Lift, lift, circle. Lift, lift, circle. Now we're going to alternate. Right, left. Right, left. So I'm standing on one leg and the other hip is going up. Like I'm showing a fly on the hip. So I'm going up in a sudden jerk. Up, up. And tail twitch. Again from the knees. And hip side to side, like a hip bump. Next I'm going to show you some um, exercises for the hips. So we're going to twist the right hip, although it is on the left, and I'm going to twist the right hip. And other side. Now I'm going to back the right and add the arm. And the arms move as one unit, opposite to the hip. And switch. And hip drops. Down, 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 down. So I'm sitting down like I'm sitting on an invisible stool. And it's very important to keep the tailbone in. Down, down. And other side. And twist, like a washing machine here. And up, up. And now I'm going to show you some basic hip movements that we use a lot in this dance. Again, it's very important to keep the posture and the attitude, and here comes the rhythm. So let's have the music. We're going to twist the right hip. So all the way is on my left, there's no way on my right, and I'm going to twist my right, my right hip. And twist. Switch the left. Back to the right, adding the arm. And switch the left. And my arms are opposing the hips. Hip drops. Down, down. So I'm sitting like on an invisible stool and my tailbone is stuck in. And switch. Down, 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 down. And twist like a washing machine here. And back. And we're going to go front, back, turn, turn, turn. Other side. This is a folkloric move from the southern Asia. And front, back, turn. And hip, turn, turn, turn. Hip. And back to the hips. We're gonna do a hip lift. And up, 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 up. And back. Next, 
we're going to do a, um, a slow section. It's mostly uh, stretching. So we're going to open our legs a little wider, and we're going to make the biggest hip circle we can make. Some music. <coughs> Slow music, so it's very beautiful and very relaxing. Big circle, I'm gonna go to the right, back, left. I'm gonna finish the circle to the front, and as I go back, I'm gonna tighten my buttocks muscles. Again, right, back, big circle, and again, as I go back, I'm gonna tighten my buttocks muscles. One more time. Big circle. And back. Then the same thing on the left. So I'm going to go left first. Back. Right. And back. One more time to the left. Big circle. And back. Last time on the left. Big circle. And back. Same thing a little faster. So I'm going to go a little faster. And smaller. And the other side. Big circle and small circle. Now I'm going to stand on the right leg and twist or make a circle with one hip. So circle with the left, turn on the right. And when I finish reverse, circle on the right, around the left foot. Now I'm going to push my sternum in like a pigeon walking. So from the upper body. And back. Hip twist. And back. Same thing, two and two. One and one. I call this the John Travolta move. Some of you might recognize it. Next, I'm going to work on the upper body. So, I'm going to move from the sternum. So, front, back, side, side. Again, front, back, other side, side. Front, back. And I'm moving from my sternum. Front, back, side, side. Now we're going to make a continuous foot circle. Just circle with the upper body and reverse. Big circle with the sternum. Both hips together, the front and back. These are known as the camel walks. Because it looks like a camel walking in the desert. You step and you sink in and come out. Step and you sink in and come out. Step and you sink in and come out. So it's like a camel walking in the desert. Next, I'm going to work on the arms. So big arms from side to side. The last 
section I'm going to show you, um, we work on the upper body also, we're going to start with the shoulders and we push the shoulder blades to the front and back. So I'm going to open my heart, sternum open and push the shoulders front, 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 front. And we're going to speed it up. One, two, one, two, one, two. Last speed, one, two, one, two, one, two. Side to side. While the shoulder is going, I'm moving from the sternum. Back to the hips, tailbone in, I'm using my knees, my heels are on the floor, again speeding it up, one, two, one, two, and my tailbone is tucked in, faster, one, two, one, two, and again from the knees, and shimmy, shoulder shimmy, Hip shimmy, shoulder shimmy, and hip, hip, shoulder, shoulder, down, down, shoulder, shoulder, other side. Other side. Side. And twisting the left hip. wire move because every time I step I shake like I step on a live wire that has electricity in it so I step and I go like this every time I step I shake from the center of gravity so it's also known as walking shimmy or three-quarter shimmy in Arabic we call this hagala because hagala is the name of the dance from the western side of Egypt where they do this move so it's walking shimmy or hagala move and the standing shimmy is in place and I use my knees front and back and front and back while keeping my weight in the front half of the foot and I just let the whole body shake and just relax and thank you very much for listening thank you very much for watching again my name is Hala I have a dance school in San Jose our studio is called Halanda so you can find it on the web at halanda.com or my uh, dance company's website is haladance.com. That's H-A-L-A dance.com. I'm also very happy to be working with Montagio, so you can also sign up for our classes, buy products, or learn more about us from montagio.com. Thank you very much, and I look forward to dancing with you soon. Our phone number is 408-246-1129.